I think a bit of kryptonite situation going on for Liquid and Tundra. Um, I mean, a little bit. It's uh, <laughs> not definitely not been said before before today. 100% new reference coming out. Hey, Yesenia, congratulations <laughs> on Crazy Series. Hey, guys, thank you so much. I think that last year you guys played some of the most crazy series that uh, I think you've ever witnessed. You know, there was uh, especially TI last chance qualifiers. I mean, yeah, you know it. So a game like this that you just played, is this just, you know, just another Tuesday? Well, it's Saturday. They're just, you know, walk in the park. No crazy comms going on. Everybody's like, okay, you know what? We threw a little bit. It happens. We can make it back. No, this, this game, I definitely, you know, I felt my heart pumping, you know, it's like <laughs> one of those games where you, you're happy. It's like when you win, it's the best feeling ever, but it's like the LAN intensity, I think. I mean, to be honest, I think this was probably like, for me at least, the most, like one of the most hectic games since Nisha joined our team. Um, so yeah, no, it was very fun, very hectic. I know I haven't played Oracle in a while, I forgot how <laughs> stressful this hero is. Like when you're playing someone dying, you don't really care, you know, you just go in there. This hero, it's like 999 pulse at all times. Yeah, it was looking uh, looking pretty crazy, but you had some great saves on that Oracle indeed, and it came out when it, when it was needed most. I'm here with uh, Brian and Effie, and Jenkins is not going to say anything. So, Brian, <laughs> what question do you have for I was going to say, Brian. well played on the Oracle. I, I really like watching you by your own selves. I really respect that. But I would just like to ask you guys, you know, what are you doing after games like this? What do you do to decompress? at the facility at the boot camp are you guys going to go out or are you just going to chill tonight what's the plan i think right now it's uh, probably some uh, mod nation you know we gotta flame each other so that we don't have to play more stressful games like this go over <laughs> the replays look at why why we're in these positions to begin with um and try to figure out what our mistakes were um but yeah other than that uh, i don't know no real plans just uh, get ready for the next series hi aiden congrats on the win uh but i just wanted to follow up on that by asking don't you feel like series like this and games like that are good for you? Because you guys have been dominant for so long that maybe you need to play some more competitive series to actually improve as a team. Uh, definitely good for us. Definitely good for us. I think we we need to be pushed. I think that was one of the main strengths that we had during TI last year was that we had been pushed to so many weird situations and we had done so many mistakes throughout the year that we had a lot of knowledge going in and I think it really helped us. And we had learned how to build and we learned how to you know, take losses or take imperfect situations and make the best of them. So I, I don't, I don't mind it. But I think uh, the goal should always be to strive to avoid these situations and to try to learn from them and how not to end up in them again. I guess. Well, Sandy, I have one question before I let you go. I have a little bit of a concern, actually, that I want to talk to you about. Because yesterday, you guys uh, had a first series of the day. did not look too great. And a uh, point was raised here earlier today that uh, you might have some players, and maybe yourself included, that are doing not as good in morning games. And I just saw the schedule tomorrow. You are first series of the day, which is, I know, bear with me, 11 a.m. Crazy. How hard is it for, for you as a team to deal with uh, with early games? Is that is that a thing? I mean, not to discredit Gladiators, they obviously have had our number recently. Um, but yeah, 11 a.m. is always a bit tough because I think uh, some of our players, myself included, at least <laughs> recently, we don't really wake up until around maybe one o'clock. So when you have to readjust to 9.30 or 10 a.m. or whatever you need in order to like be fully awake by the time the game begins, it's a bit of a challenge for us, I think. Uh, yeah, I think... I'm, I'm not actually sure. I'm just trying to think. Like, would we rather play at 10 a.m.? Would we rather play at, like 2 a.m.? And I honestly think maybe like the 2 a.m. that we did in Peru was like <laughs> still in some ways nicer. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, indeed, rough news. Let me see. Let me see. 11. Yeah, I, got one, I got one thing to say. Uh, hey, Aiden. 13. <laughs> Stop, Jenkins. Uh, no, I, I can't. You can't ask me questions. I'm interviewing you. Oh, your last your last two days of group stage, you uh, you actually are playing <laughs> later on in the day, so you're good there. No, no, Jenkins. We don't have time. No, I don't for have a question. question. I just want to say hey to him. And then and he asked Jenkins. you a question. Who does he think he is? God, Aiden. All right. Thank you very much, Insania, for talking to us. Congratulations on a great series. Great job, panel. Great job. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, good luck tomorrow waking up uh, 11 a.m. sharp. Thank We're you. looking forward to watching you play again. <laughs> <laughs>